atoms, inside out, learning competency, explain physical changes in terms of the arrangement and the motion of atoms and molecules. Lesson 1, The Properties of Subatomic Particles Atoms are present at the most basic level in everything we see around us. In fact, all living organisms as well as non-living things are composed of atoms. All matter is made up of atoms. Activity 1. Everything is a pile of atoms. Look at the picture of an apple below. Slice an apple in two parts, and then slice the resulting halves into many slices, just like the picture below. Answer the questions that follow. Questions. 1. Are the smaller pieces of apple still similar to the original apple? Why? What is the answer? The answer is, yes, because the atoms in smaller pieces are the same as that of the big original apple. 2. Can you still slice these pieces into smaller ones? What is the answer? The answer is, yes. 3. Is it possible to keep on slicing and dividing these pieces? Why? What is the answer? The answer is, no, you reach a point where the pieces cannot be sliced nor divided anymore. 4. After slicing the apple many times, how can you be sure that this is still the same apple? What is the answer? The answer is, only the size changed. Smell and taste are still the same. So is with atoms. It may not be seen but surely you know since the properties are evident. Activity 2. Charge it. Study the drawings and answer the questions below atom A, and atom B. Questions. 1. How many protons are there in atom A? What about in atom B, what is the answer? The answer is there is only one proton in atom A, while in atom B, there are four protons. 2. How many electrons are there in atom A? What about in atom B, what is the answer? There is one electron in atom A, while in atom B, there are two electrons. 3. How many neutrons are there in atom A? What about in, atom B? What is the answer? The answer is, there is no neutron in atom A, while there are five neutrons in atom B, subatomic particles, have you ever wondered what everything around you is made of? Everything around us is made up of tiny particles called atoms. What is an atom? The word atom is derived from the Greek word, atomos or indivisible. Atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the identity of the substance. Atom is thought to be the smallest particle of a given element. What are the subatomic particles and their properties? Atoms are composed of three types of particles and these are the protons, electrons, and neutrons. These components of the atom are referred as subatomic particles. Table 1 shows the properties of these subatomic particles. The nucleus, which is found at the center of the atom contains protons or, positively charged, and neutrons or, no, charge. The outermost regions of the atom contain the electrons or, negatively charged. Table 1. Properties of the three subatomic particles, subatomic particles charge, mass in grams, and location in the atom, electron, E negative symbol, charge is negative 1, mass in grams 9.109 times 10 to the negative 28, location in the atom is outside the nucleus, proton P positive is the symbol, charge is positive 1. Mass in grams is 1.672 times 10 to the negative 24, and the location in the atom is in the nucleus, neutron, n to the zero power is the symbol, charge is zero, mass in grams is 1.67 to the negative 24, and the location in the nucleus is in the nucleus, atoms in their stable state are neutral, its number of protons and electrons are equal. The mass of an atom is solely due to the mass of the proton and neutron. The protons and neutrons are referred as, nucleons, are tightly packed together, form the nucleus within the center of the atom. Thus, much of the mass of an atom is concentrated at the nucleus. Atoms in their stable state are neutral, its number of protons and electrons are equal. The mass of an atom is solely due to the mass of the proton and neutron. The protons and neutrons are referred as nucleons. The nucleons which are tightly packed together, form the nucleus within the center of the atom. Thus, much of the mass of an atom is concentrated at the nucleus. Activity 3. All about atoms. 
Label the diagram by writing the correct term from the word bank. Proton, electron, neutron, or electron gel. What are the answers? The answers are, number 1, electron gel. Number 2, proton. Number 3, neutron. Number 4, electron. Number 5, nucleus. 6. Which particle of an atom has a negative electric charge? Question mark. What is the answer? The answer is electron. 7. Which particle of the atom contains no electric charge? Question mark. What is the answer? The answer is neutron. 8. Which particle of the atom features a positive electric charge? What is the answer? The answer is proton. Which two subatomic particles are located within the nucleus of an atom? What is the answer? The answers are number 9 proton and number 10 neutron. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. An atom is number 1 spherical in shape. It has three subatomic particles namely, the electrons, protons, and neutrons. A proton possesses number 2 positive charge. On the other hand, an electron is number 3 negatively charged while neutron is said to be number 4 neutral. The lightest among the subatomic particles is the number 5 electron while the heaviest is the number 6 neutron. Electrons can be found number 7 outside the nucleus while the protons and neutrons can be found number 8 inside in the nucleus. The nucleus is the number 9 heavier or center part of the atom. The charge of the nucleus is number 10 positive. Electric charge is a fundamental electrical property that is either of positive or negative type to which the mutual attractions or repulsions between protons or electrons is attributed. Conductors are materials that allow electrons to flow freely from atom to atom. In contrast, insulators are materials that prevent the free flow of electrons from atom to atom. Electrical cords are usually made with both conductors and insulators, Identify the word using the jumbled letters inside the parenthesis. Examples of metals that are conductors, examples of insulators, number 1 iron, number 2 copper, number 3 aluminum, number 4 rubber, number 5 wood. Lesson 2. Plum Pudding and Nuclear Models of the Atom The development of the atomic theory began with intuitive thought, when early Greek philosophers pondered on the nature of matter. It took centuries to develop a complete picture of the atom. There had been various models suggested at different periods of time. These models represent concrete expressions of theoretical assumptions. In this lesson, you will learn the most significant discoveries of the structure of the atom which led to creation of the two models identify which subatomic particles, electron, neutron, proton, match each of these descriptions. 1. They have a relative charge of positive 1. What is the answer? The answer is proton 2. They have a relative charge of negative 1. What is the answer? The answer is electron 3. They have no charge. What is the answer? The answer is neutron 4. Located in the nucleus of an atom. What is the answer? There, answers are proton and neutron 5. They have a much lower mass than the other two types of particles. What is the answer? The activity 1. Small but terrible. After performing the activity, you should be able to describe Thomson's plum pudding model of the atom. Have you eaten a watermelon? Did you notice the seeds that are embedded inside the fruit? Don't you know that Thomson's atomic model can be compared to a watermelon fruit with seeds described as the negative charged particles called electrons? Comma, procedure. Look at the picture of a watermelon below. 2. Label the parts of an atom based on Thomson's atomic model. What is the answer? Number 1. The answer is atom. Number 2. What is the answer? The answer is electron. Questions. What does the whole watermelon fruit represent? Question mark. What is the answer? The answer is atom. 2. What do the seeds inside the watermelon fruit represent? What is the answer? The answer is negatively charged particles called electrons. Activity 2. Beyond our imagination. Materials. A piece of bond paper of any size. Small stick or pencil or pen. Small glass drinking straw. Procedure. 1. Use the mouth of a small glass as your guide in drawing circles in a bond paper following the illustration below. 2. Cut the straw into circular shapes. Paste the cut straw at the center of each drawn circle. 3. Place the bond paper on the floor with the drawn circles facing up. 
4. Get a pen or small stick. Stand in front of the bond paper. Drop the pen or small stick to the circles of the bond paper. 5. If you are using a small stick, mark with a pencil or ball pen the part hit by the stick. Perform 5 trials for each circle. Questions. 1. What do you observe? What happened to the pen when it hit the plastic straw? Question mark. What is the answer? The answer is there are markings of the pen inside the bond paper. However, when the pen hit the cut straw in the center, they just bounced back and no markings left. 2. Where can you see most of the pen's markings? What is the answer? The answer is most of the markings are at the side of the circles. Few markings are found at the What did Joseph John Thompson discover? What is his atomic model called? When the idea of the atom was first proposed by the ancient Greeks, they thought it was a particle with no parts. However, towards the 19th century, Joseph John Thomson discovered that atoms have negatively charged particles, which he called electrons. This led him to propose a new model for the atom, which he called the plum pudding model. Thomson proposed that the negatively charged electrons were embedded in a cloud of positive charge, as shown in figure 1. Since plums and puddings are not commonly known in the Philippines, it may work better for you to use the other name for the model, the resin bread model or a watermelon fruit model. Figure 1. Plum pudding model. What is Rutherford's nuclear model? A group of scientists composed of Ernest Rutherford, Johannes Hans Wilhelm Geiger and Ernest Marsden tested Thomson's model by bombarding a very thin sheet of gold foil with positively charged alpha particles. Their experiment is referred to as the alpha particle scattering experiment. Using a setup similar to figure 2 below, Rutherford and his co-workers, after doing a series of experiments, observed the following, most alpha particles were undeflected. Some are deflected at smaller angles. Few alpha particles deflected almost back the particles in the atoms of the gold foil led Rutherford's team to propose another model called the nuclear atom. Figure 2. Gold foil experiment, while figure 3. Rutherford's interpretations of the gold foil experiment results, in the raisin bread model, the electrons having a very small mass, are scattered in a cloud of positive charge. In this region where the electrons are found, there was no area with a similar charge to the alpha particles that can be found that can cause its deflection. To account for the few deflections and the rare occasions of very large deflections, Rutherford, in 1911, suggested a different structure of the atom where all the positive charge and nearly all the mass of the atom were concentrated in a very tiny region called the nucleus, which is found at the center of the atom. The rest of the atom, where the tiny electrons with very small mass moved, was largely empty space through which the alpha particles could travel undeflected. This model replaced the one proposed by Thomson and is the model that we hold to this time, with respect to the placement of the nucleus in the atom. Below is a representation of Rutherford's gold foil experiment. The paths of the alpha particles are represented with arrows. Use the diagram to answer the following questions. 1. Which of the following paths was most likely to occur? A. Path 1. B. Path 2. C. Path 3. D. Path 4. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter A. Path 1. 2. Which of the following paths was least likely to occur? A. Path 1. B. Path 2. C. Path 3. D. Path 4. What is the answer? The answer is letter C. Path 3. 3. The charge on an alpha particle is positive. Based on this information, what must be the charge of the nucleus? A. Neutral. B. Positive. C. Negative. D. Both positive and negative. What is the answer? The answer is letter B path 2, 4. According to Rutherford's experiment, the atom is composed largely of blank. A. Empty space. B. Alpha particles. C. A charged nucleus. D. Cannot be determined. What is the answer? The answer is letter B empty space. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. 1. Towards the 19th century, Joseph John Thomson was able to discover that atoms have negatively charged particles, 
which he called what is the answer. The answer is electron. It led him to propose a new model for the atom, which he called the plum pudding model of the atom. 2. In the plum pudding model of the atom, negatively charged electrons were embedded in a cloud of blank. What is the answer? The answer is 3. Ernest Rutherford and his team performed the what is the answer? The answer is gold experiment to test the model of Joseph John Thomson. They fired alpha particles on a thin sheet of gold foil. 4. Observations in the gold foil experiment are the following. Most of the alpha rays just what is the answer? The answer is passed through the gold foil. A small portion of the alpha particles was deflected. An even smaller portion of the alpha particles bounced. 5. These observations suggested a different structure of the atom where all the positive charge and nearly all the mass of the atom were concentrated in a very tiny region called the what is the answer? The answer is nucleus at the center of the atom. 6. The new model of the structure of the atom is called the what is the answer? The answer is nuclear model. This model describes the atom as having a nucleus at its center. Below is a blank representation of an atom. If you compare your life to an atom, what will be the things or areas that you will place in the center of your life? Complete the atomic model below by placing the areas or things in your life either in the center or at the sides of the circle. Suggested answers are written inside the small circles below that serve as the subatomic particles. Complete the atomic model below by placing the areas or things in your life either in the center or at the sides of the circle. Suggested answers are written inside the small circles below that serve as the subatomic particles. Your answers may be like this one faith. 2 Family 3 Health 4 Friends 5 Foods Note, numbers 2 to 5, 8 to 10 can be interchanged, 6 House 7 Clothes 8 Money 9 Cell Phone 10 Lesson 3 The number of subatomic particles in atoms, ions and isotopes. Previously, you have learned about the three subatomic particles, protons, electrons and neutrons and how these are arranged in the currently accepted model of the atom. All atoms of an element contain the same number of protons in their nuclei. The number of protons in an atom of a given element is referred as atomic number, designated as Z. The number of protons must be equal to the number of electrons in an electrically neutral atom. However, when the number of protons and electrons is not equal, ions are for A label the proton, neutron and electron in the nuclear model of an atom. Place your answers in the box provided what are the answer? The answers are 1 electron, 2 proton, and 3 neutron. B match the 3 subatomic particles of an atom in column A to its charges in column B number 1 proton what is the answer? The answer is letter B positive charge number 2 electron what is the answer? The answer is letter C negative charge number 3 neutron what is the answer? The answer is letter A no charge, or zero charge, activity 1. Find me. Materials. Periodic table, pen or pencil, and paper. Procedure. Refer to the periodic table below. Locate the atomic number and answer the questions on the next page. The periodic table of elements. Questions. 1. What is the element with an atomic number of 15? What is the answer? The answer is phosphorus. 2. How many protons does the atom of this element have? What is the answer? The answer is 15 protons. 3. How many electrons are there in an atom of aluminum? Al? What is the answer? The answer is 13 electrons. 4. Among the elements in the periodic table, which has the smallest number of proton? What is the answer? The answer is, what are neutral atoms? A single atom is said to be electrically neutral if its number of electrons E negative is equal to the number of protons P positive. Thus, the atomic number or, Z, of an element also specifies the number of electrons in neutral atom. Mathematically, for a neutral atom, it is equal to P positive, is equal to E negative. Notice the atomic structure in figure 6 on the next page. Do they have equal number of protons and electrons? Figure 6. Symbol of helium atom on their left, 
and its atomic structure on their right. Since the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus, the mass number designated as A is equal to the sum of the masses of the protons and neutrons. That is, mass number A is equals to the number of protons, P positive plus number of neutrons, and zero for neutral atom. Atomic number Z is equal to number of protons, P positive is equal to the number of electrons, Z negative number of neutron, and zero is equal to mass number. A, minus number of proton, figure 7 shows the symbol of the element where the mass number, A, is written as superscript and atomic number, Z, is written as subscript, mass number A is 4, H E element symbol, and atomic number Z is 2 figure 7. Shorthand notation of helium atom, example 1, how many protons, electrons and neutrons are present in boron, B, 11, 5? Solution mass number, A is equal to 11 and atomic number, Z is equal to 5 since, atomic number, Z number of protons is equal to number of electron, P plus, is equal to 5 and E, negative is equal to 5 N, 0 is equal to A minus P, plus N, 0 is equal to 11 minus 5, is equal to 6, what are ions? Atoms may gain charges. This happens when electrons are lost or gained by the atom. When this happens, the atom becomes an ion. A negative charge ion or, anion, has more electrons than protons. A positive charge ion or, cation, has fewer number of electrons than protons. The net charge of an ion is the difference between the number of protons and the number of electrons. Charge of ion is equal to number of protons p, plus minus number of electrons e, negative. For example, a neutral lithium atom. Atomic number 3, has 3 protons and 3 electrons. If the atom loses 1 electron, it becomes an ion, cation, with a charge of positive 1, table 2. Net charges of lithium atom and lithium ion, number of protons, positive lithium atom is positive 3, lithium ion is positive 3, number of electrons negative, number of atoms is negative 3, number of ions is negative 2. Net charge, lithium atom is 0. Lithium, symbol lithium atom is L, I, lithium ion is L, I, positive 1. In some books the charge of an ion is written with the positive or negative sign after the number, as in 1 plus, and sometimes before it, as in plus 1. When the charge of an ion is positive 1 or negative 1, the number 1 is normally excluded, and the charge is written clearly as positive or negative. Figure 8 shows the shorthand notation of lithium ion. The superscript at the right denotes the charge of, the ion wherein the number of electrons may be determined. The charge is zero when there is no superscript, figure 8, shorthand notation of lithium ion mass number A is equal to 7, charge is positive 1, atomic number, Z, is equal to 3, example 2, determine the number of electrons, protons and neutrons of fluorine ion F, 19, 9, negative 1. Solution, given, A equals 19, Z equals 9 and charge of ion equals negative 1, means gain 1, E, negative. Number of protons P, positive is equal to 9 number of, electrons E, negative is equal to 9 plus 1, gain 1 E, negative, is equal to 10 number of ions, N, 0 is equal to A minus P, positive is equal to 19 minus 9 is equal to 10, what are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms having the same atomic number but with different mass number. Notice the data in table 3. What makes the three isotopes of hydrogen different from each other? Table 3, isotopes of hydrogen Hydrogen 1 protium, hydrogen 2, deuterium, hydrogen 3, tritium, hydrogen 1, 2, and 3 have same atomic number, which is 1, but different in mass number, which are mass, numbers 1. 2, and 3, different isotopes can exist and these can be identified by its respective mass number. Mass number is the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom. For example, tritium, H3, has a mass number of 3. Referring to table 3, its number of proton is 1 and 2 for neutrons, giving a total of 3. Mathematically, mass number of tritium is equal to proton P, 
positive plus neutron n0 is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Example 3, table 4 shows the number of subatomic particles of carbon isotopes. Notice the differences in their number of neutrons, resulting to three different carbon isotopes. Table 4, isotopes of carbon isotopes of carbon are carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14, subatomic number which is 6, but different in mass number, which are, 12, 13, and 14 respectively. Complete the table below row 1, b, 11 boron, 5, 11, 5, 5, 6, 0, row 2, cl, 35, chlorine, 17, 35, 17, 18, 18, negative 1 row 3, mg, 24, magnesium 12, 24, 12, 10, 12, positive 2, row 4, al, 27, aluminum, 13, 27, 13, 10, 14, positive 3, row 5, s, 32, sulfur, 16, 32, 16, 16, 16, 0, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. 1. Only a change in the number of protons changes the identity of the, what is the answer? The answer is element. 2. Atoms of an element may have different number of protons or what is the answer? The answer is neutron, and the net charge remains, what is the answer? The answer is the same. 3. Ions are formed by the addition or removal of what is their answer? The answer is a letter. 4. A. An. What is the answer? The answer is positive ion is formed when electrons are removed from an atom and the number of electrons becomes less than the number of protons, while A. An. What is the answer? The answer is negative ion is formed when electrons are added to an atom and the number of electrons becomes more than the number of protons. 5. The number of electrons in an atom does not affect its, what is the answer? The answer is mass number, since their contribution to the mass of the atom is negligible. 6. Atoms of the same element having different mass number are called, what is the answer? The answer is isotopes. 7. There, what is the answer? The answer is atomic number is equal to the number of protons, which is also equal to the number of electrons in uncharged, electrically 8. Mass number is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in there, what is the answer? The answer is nucleus of the atom. 9. The number of each subatomic particle of an element can be easily identified if we know the, what is the answer? The answer is subatomic and the atomic number. The content of this video is mostly from Pedka Region Science 8 Learning Module Quarter 3, via Pedka and the GIFs and some pictures are from online sources.